Good morning, YouTube. How's everyone doing today? Um, we're going to start out by working on the Duramax a little bit because I have a few little issues that I want to fix before we get going. Um, basically, heading back up to Chris's today to help with the trailer some more and get that done. Um, the uh, the Duramax is uh, she's doing all right, but we need to uh, we need to adjust the upper control arm on the driver's side, like I was saying in yesterday's video. Kind of the reason why I did that video is you can see how it's wearing. Um, you're supposed to get an alignment. Uh, I have never aligned this truck since I did anything. And I've just been self-aligning it as I go. Uh, so hopefully we can adjust it and they'll move and then we'll get the tire out a little bit. And uh, hopefully fix that wear issue. So to start off I'm going to jack it up, take the weight off. And then I'll loosen the... Uh... Yeah. I'll loosen the the upper control arm bolts and then we'll uh, we'll adjust them out and I'll show you the process. So here it is, guys. Um, truck's jacked up a little bit. Tire still on the ground. Uh, 21 millimeter socket on the nut and then uh, just a adjustable on the bolt that I adjust it. Um, basically, uh, upper control arms are preloaded, so you want to tighten them so they're straight out mostly. So I didn't want to go too negative on the angle. So we're actually gonna do it like this. I'm gonna break both the bolts loose and then uh, we'll adjust it, we'll move it out a little bit and even if it goes out too far, it doesn't really matter, we'll just wear the outside of the tire first and then adjust it a little bit. Um, sorry if I'm really groggy, I haven't had Duncan yet, so I'm trying to get this done before I leave. I gotta wash my truck and then head out. So the bolts are both now pretty loose. Should be enough to uh, to adjust these. I might try and use the uh, the socket on it because it's a little bit easier. But basically, you want to bring. I think you want to bring them up. I always get confused on this part, but hold on here. Thing he has to do with one hand. <laughs> That's not good. See, the problem is this truck's all rotted, so I don't want to move. All right, well, because these bolts are rusted to shit, I was able to get this one adjusted, but I had to take this pry bar, pry up behind there, push it out with my body, and then tighten it with the wrench. So now I'm gonna do the back side. Hopefully it's a little easier. And then uh, once that's done, hopefully it's good and hopefully the tire wear straightens out a little bit. I think the bushings are shot. I need new upper control arms anyway, so we'll see. So there it is, we get them both adjusted out. Hopefully it's enough to make a difference. So like I said, loosen the nut, turn the bolt whichever way you need to go up or down. And now uh, you might need to pry and persuade a little bit, but hopefully that does it. We'll set it down and see how it looks. All right, so I had a theory and it worked. It worked. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to, so I waited to say anything about it. But the, uh, so with that control arm being like super cambered in, my tie rods almost looked like they were like, they were out. 
like one tire was off from straight but now that it's square like I don't know if you guys can see too well but it's pretty straight now and so is this side so stance game on fleek but everything should be uh should ride a hundred times better now and hopefully not wear down this side so much so that's a quick way to adjust your upper control arms i'm gonna wash my truck real quick and then we're heading out i gotta get duncan so much better now so much straighter don't even have to hold the wheel it's a little crooked still but that little fix this morning look at hands off a lot better than it was it used to pull super hard to the right i'm hoping that fixed all of our issues it, it rides good everything's good so um if you're an idiot like me and you just need to align it you can eyeball it and tell by how it drives uh don't do that go get an alignment but I'm cheap and I push my parts to the max, so I probably should have changed the upper control arm like months ago, but nah, it's not banging yet or anything, so uh, I'm gonna redo everything when I take everything apart and everything and everything. Yeah, because you guys know what everything is. Um, basically, I'll grind the frame, uh, fucking sand, paint, refresh, new upper control arms, probably like next year, like the beginning of next year after the deployment. Um, yeah, it's good. Off to Duncan. Oh boy, guys, we went to go get our Duncan. The check engine light came on. Uh, just kidding, I actually know what it's on for. Uh, one of the, uh, the uh, subscribers I have uh, was asking some questions about uh, some plugs and shit because he did an intake or a uh, uh, no, Y bridge. Unplugged my map sensor to show him uh, what the deal was, and I forgot I unplugged it and I drove off. So I plugged it back in. It should go away in probably like an hour or so. Whatever. No biggie. We're at Chris's, but on a side note, uh, do any of you guys want these these headlights? I'm trying to go back to stock. Uh, the halos work. The LEDs work. Uh, they're decent. I don't want them anymore though. I want to go back to a clean look, kind of like how I did these. I'm gonna do that. So. If you guys want to want them, drop in the comments, you know, and then uh, we'll send them out to you. Right now, I'm going to see why my light bar doesn't work. I think it's just a wire, because I got a hack job wiring it together. Like such, I don't know, it's still twisted together. I bet it just shorted out. So there's probably a fuse, so I'm going to look for fog lights right there. I can't see. I even got too big of a fuse in there. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it out. Woohoo! It's fucking hot today, boys. It's hot. Some needle nose. Son of a bitch. Hmm. It's still good. Why in the world would my light bar not be working? Unless this relay is bad. Best way to test is if you ever need to test relays in these trucks, just pull them out. Oh boy. How the fuck? 
I don't even know how the fuck I'm gonna do this. Here's a windshield washer one. We'll, we'll swap that one in there. That's fine. Fuck the horn though. You don't really need it, but. Oh, these are actually different. I wonder what the difference is between 8567 and 8866. I don't even know how to tell. Whatever. We'll try it. it blows up. What's the worst that happens? I got a fire extinguisher. Key on. If you wonder why my headlights are on all the time, it's because uh, my little sensor for the nighttime fell in the dash. What the fuck? It's still not working. Fucking son of a bitch. Oh, there it is. We got a. It's got a bad connection right there. She's on though. She's working. Dope. So it's just the wires. I should probably wrap those up a little better. Fucking. Not really working too well, you know. Can't tell if they're getting hot or what, but now I just want to make sure the windshield wipers work. We'll be on our way. Look at that. Oh, I gotta fix this wire. These fucking wires are all fucked up. Don't look at my hack job. Oh, fucking everything. All my LEDs work. Bam, back in business. I'm trying to get new headlights today though. Sweet, one thing done. All right guys, reason 987 million, 692,500 and something reasons why you should have a fire extinguisher in your truck. We almost just burned the whole yard down. Uh, <laughs> we fucking, I was welding on the top of the trailer some of this fucking dry brush, dry California brush, just lit on fire. And uh, thank God I had a fire extinguisher in my truck. Because uh, it was real bad. It was about maybe 10 seconds and this whole area burned and it was just doubling. And uh, But my little fire extinguisher was able to put it out. We had another one that we used earlier. So that's two fires today. That's two fire extinguishers from my truck that I've used and successfully saved a life. So... We must fuck some shit up today. <laughs> I think I'm done welding. Uh, so guys, fire's no joke. Keep a fire extinguisher in your truck. I'm surprised no one came out and saw that. There was a, there was a lady out. What, down the road? She was at her car, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't fucking come down and see the forest fire or whatever. Yeah, Anyways, guys, what's going on? Uh, we made some kind of progress on the, tra uh, the trailer today. Almost burned down the neighborhood. Um, finally. Fine, a fucking Lee, after this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful install of this trans cooler, right? Bam, bam, fucking tits. <clears throat> we cut off the old trans cooler in the shitty spot. No more ass shit. So, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Sorry we didn't really uh, get too much of the, the grinding and welding. It looks like ass anyway, so you really don't wanna we still gotta work on it. Uh, it really wasn't worth anything. Um, I almost lit the camper on fire, uh, the trailer on fire, uh, the ground on fire. Um, basically, started a forest fire. Thank God we had two extinguishers, cause fuck it, I gotta go buy another one tomorrow just in case. But we're done here. Uh, I gotta pack up and go home. So if you guys like the video, please drop a thumbs up. If you can see that, I'm blinding myself. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take it easy.